nerds, hi yogis, Carleen Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we will be focusing on some upper body strength and stretches. Part of building strength is stretching. A lot of times people just work out, they work their muscles really hard and then they don't stretch afterwards, they just kind of leave it there. So that can actually build more tension in your muscles. So today we're going to do kind of a mix of stretching, um, strengthening, it's not going to be super intense, uh, but we're going to have fun, hopefully. So we'll start in just a, a comfortable mountain pose. You don't have to be too worried about um, our, our posture or anything. For now, really just find a comfortable standing position. We're gonna start with our breath. So inhaling warm and wide in your lower belly and your pelvic floor. And exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Exhale through the nose. Good, inhale again. Exhale. One more time, really using our um, belly to expand, fill our lungs. Awesome, so keep that deep um, ujjayi breath through the entire practice. We'll start adding some arm movement though. So just inhale, arms reach up, extend. Exhale, fold them down to the side. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward. And you'll notice I'm bending my arms the inhale up. You can even do any back bend if you want to open that space up a little bit more. Exhale, arms out to the side. Inhale up. Exhale. As we're doing this, we're trying not to shrug our shoulders like this. So we're lifting from the bent arms and it's stretching out. And then really channeling that breath, making sure that we use it the entire practice. Exhale. Good, inhale here. Exhale, hands stop halfway, so we're reaching out. We'll do uh, just some, again, more stretching here. So exhale, kind of round your upper back, almost like you're squeezing a, a giant beach ball to the side. Inhale here, exhale, inhale open. Again, as you open, you can do a mini squeeze of the back, starting to warm up those muscles. should really help with spending days on computers and on our phones. We do a lot of hunching over. So this is squeezing that upper back area just a little bit to help activate it, strengthen it, and stretch it all at once. And last time, inhale, big stretch. Awesome. Now we're going to come to our hands and knees, so into cat-cow. We'll take those movements a little deeper. So finding a comfortable position here, grounding into the earth with your hands and your knees. Start by bending your limbs. Inhale and exhale. Really ramming out through the back, pushing away with the floor. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome. Now the spine moves in lots of directions so you can Move the spine from side to side, warming up all of your spinal mus muscles. Taking a yogi's choice moment, do a little dance of the spine, and then back to your cat cow. Awesome. Now from here you can leave your toes pointed or tuck them under, we'll do some balancing. So again, working on our back, all the muscles around our spine. So we're gonna take our right leg, and lift it up, just lift it up, holding it here. If you want more of a challenge, you can add the left arm and just holding this balance. And really grounding into the earth with the right hand and the left knee and really activating your left inner thigh. That's gonna help a lot, really making sure that you're pressing away with your right heel, extending and exhale everything back down to the earth. Good, you can do a cat-cow here. Stretch out the spine again. And then once you're in a neutral tabletop, now you'll switch it up. So left leg extends out behind you, balancing there, and right arm reaches out long in front of you if you want that out of balance. You can, of course, leave both of your hands on the floor and build up to balancing on just one hand. So really making sure that you are lifting in and up with the front of your spine and your um, back spine. So 
so you're not sagging or arching or anything like that. And exhale. Awesome job there. You can cat cow if you want. We're going to take it on each side again, but we'll add a little challenge to that. So really grounding into the earth here. Long spine, making sure again, not sagging or arching anyway. Long spine, neutral tabletop. Right leg reaches out, left arm reaches out, and from here you can point the right toe and we'll pulse up. Just 10 pulses here. And hold it now, we're gonna exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Now here obviously you'll have to arch your back a little. But just slowly, you don't wanna necessarily do it too much. Really getting into the core. And you'll probably notice that your standing arm and leg are getting quite tired. So reach out, hold the balance for just another breath, and exhale. Awesome job. Inhale. Exhale for cat cow. Awesome. And we'll try that on the other side. So the left leg comes out. Right arm comes out. Holding the balance here for breath. Now if you want that added challenge, point the left foot and pulse up. Just tiny pulses here. A little bit goes a long way. And now exhale, left knee to right elbow. A little core crunch here without having to do crunches. Awesome. Extend the left leg long, right arm long. Holding for just another moment and exhale. Awesome job. Walk your hands back. This time you're going to reach your fingers behind you. Stretch. Opening up the front of our chest, which we tend to ignore a lot. Awesome. Back to our hands and knees. We'll do a little bit of threading the needle to open our upper back a bit more. So inhale, the right arm reaches to the sky, and exhale, thread the right arm under your left, hover for just a moment, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, and this last time now, plant to the right arm on the floor, feels so good, you can even tent your left fingertips to help wave the spine long and deepen the stretch in the right shoulder. Make your way back up to your tabletop. Wave the spine long here. Inhale, left arm extends towards the sky this time. Exhale, thread it under the right, hovering about an inch over the ground. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up last time. And exhale. Left arm comes to the earth this time. You can tent your right fingertips if you want. Wave the spine long, feeling the nice deep stretch in your left shoulder, in your upper back. And try to keep your feet parallel. Don't let this left foot move over too much. Keeping it parallel will help keep that stretch in the upper back. Fantastic, coming back up onto your hands and knees. Now from here, we're going to go into our down dog, do a little vinyasa. So fingertips, plant strong and firmly into the earth. Then come down onto your palms, light on the heel of your hands, and make your way into your down dog. You can pedal out your feet here, starting to warm up the backs of your legs. Awesome. And from here, just get a slight bend in your knees and your elbows. Wave your spine long, and then press back into your heels. You know, we're not super warm yet. Your legs don't have to be totally straight. Your heels don't have to be touching the earth. You just want to feel that good stretch and you don't want to be falling into your shoulders because that actually is not very good for you. So long spine here supported. You still have armpits. You still have a neck. And you're in your down dog. Awesome. Now from here, 
You're going to bend everything really deep, bend now in the knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward to plank, so coming up almost like a cobra hood here. Into your plank, come onto your knees, lower down through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. We're going to wave up to just a baby cobra, just warming up our back muscles here. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale. Now this time, you're going to take your hands, so let go of the floor for a second. Grab your fingertips behind your back, and then lift up. So a little bit deeper stretch in the back. Now you don't have the support of your hands. So you're really lifting up through your core and your back spine. And if you want an added challenge, you can lift your feet. Really channeling your ujjayi breath here as you hold it for one more inhale and exhale. And release everything back to the earth. Plant your fingertips again next to you. This time, come up into a higher cobra. Bend your elbows a little bit as you prepare and press through pointed plank back to your down dog. Whew, awesome job. That feels good, so we're gonna do another one with another slight variation and adding a little bit more strength practice. So bending your knees and your elbows, get super close to the earth, wave yourself forward, come onto your knees. Now this time, before we go in, Lower through Chaturanga. Take your hands wide, wider than your mat. We'll do five wide arm push ups here. Really exhaling here. And you know what? Let's do five more for good measure. Woo! Awesome. Walk your hands back in. Fantastic job. Lower to the earth. Inhale here through your cobra waves. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind you again. Inhale, lift up. Long spine, long neck, crown is really lifting up. And then from here, if you want that added challenge, lift your feet. Really extend through your arms. You're pulling your, your wrists and your hands away from your upper body here so you're not just letting your shoulders sink into your neck. You don't want that. Exhale. Awesome. Plant your hands into the earth. Wave yourself all the way in and up. Exhale. Back to down dog. Woo, I'm feeling that strength in my arms. But you know what? We're stronger things, so we're going to do, do another round. So bending your knees and your elbows, get close to the earth. Wave yourself forward. This time lower all the way through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, cobra waves. One last wave. Exhale. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Extend up. Lift your legs if you want that added challenge. If you really want to take it a step farther, you can even release your hands, reach for your ankles, and lift up. That'll get you a much deeper stretch in the front of your shoulders. It feels so good. Make sure your legs aren't winging out. You want to keep them in line with the hips, parallel from each other, and still keeping that long spine. Exhale. Awesome job planting your hands, rolling yourself in and up. Exhale back to down dog. Now here's where we modify it a little, have a little fun. Step your feet just a bit closer. Point your hands towards each other. Do some pike push-ups here, really channeling the strength in our upper back. Just a couple more here. And last one, awesome job. Come onto your knees. Woo. Shake out your wrists. Feels so good. You can do your magic wrist clear here. So quick massage on the forearms. Squeeze out your wrists. Awesome. This is a 
not too bad of practice. Just a quick little run through, get some strength in her back and her upper body. And then to round it out, we'll, we'll do some stretches. So come into your ankle to knee pose. Uh, left leg on top, ankles and knees are in line. They don't necessarily have to be touching. If you have not a lot of flexibility in your hips, you might have a pillow, you might have some space there. But just let gravity kind of do the work. We're not gonna worry about stretching our legs so much. We're just sitting in this position to let them start opening gently while we stretch the upper body. So we'll start taking the left arm, extend it across the body. We did a lot of arm work, so work on stretching that out. And if you want to hold any of these stretches longer than we do in the video, hit pause, you know, take your time, do them again after the video is over, whatever's easiest for you. And then take the arm behind your back, hook onto your elbow, and really make sure that you're pressing against your elbow with your head. You don't want to be sagging your head forward or rounding your upper back. You want a long spine and then pressing back so that you get that stretch. Now from here, take your left arm out and just gently rest our right ear towards our right shoulder. And if you want to take the stretch a little deeper, you can take their right hand, not pressing the head, but resting it on the ear. It's just adding a little bit more pressure. Again, you're not pulling or anything like that. You're letting gravity do the work here. Here, you can release that hand and just gently twist your chin a little forward so you can get a little different stretch, maybe on top of the, the traps a bit more. You can rotate your head and neck around, see where that stretch feels good. And then last one, we're going to externally rotate the arm here, hook it behind you, so wherever your arm comes, if it's you know, on the other side of your body, maybe it's in the middle of your back, but just hook your arm around you and look to the right. So it doesn't seem like it's a big stretch to suing a lot, but you are really stretching out all of the muscles on the side of the neck. Which we tend to cramp up with all of the computer and work and all the stuff that we do, so good to stretch it out. Awesome, release that, shake it out. Then we'll switch sides, so right leg comes on top. Again, we're just letting gravity do work here on the hip, so wherever your hip falls, let it be there. And take the right arm across, just you can grab whatever's way comfortable, but you wanna pull the right arm across. Not that you're twisting, so keep the long spine, you wanna, but you do want to try and extend the arm away from the body so that you get a deeper stretch. And then take right arm behind you. You can hook onto the elbow. Again, long spine, really extend up, lifting up, lifting up through the crown of your head, making sure that you're not slouching while you're doing this stretch. If you slouch, you won't actually feel the stretch in your tricep, which is where you want to feel it. Awesome. Gently release that. Right arm extends out long, so you're reaching out with the right arm, and then left ear to left shoulder. And if that's a deep enough stretch for you, you can leave it there, or take your left hand and gently just rest it on top of your head. Again, not pulling or yanking with the left arm, just adding a little bit of weight to deepen the stretch. Gently release that, twisting your head forward. If you want, you can even hook onto your, your head still and again, just have that weight pulling your, your head and neck a little forward, feeling the stretch in the upper back, upper traps more. Awesome. 
Some last stretch here. We're gonna start by externally rotating the arm so you have healthy shoulder movement. So right up, palm's gonna face behind you and then wrap it around your back. So you can actually use that in any of your arm binds, anything like that to give you more shoulder mobility and a healthier shoulder, healthier shoulder alignment. So start there, wrap your hand around your back wherever is comfortable and then look to the left. Again, try not to slouch your spine, slouch your neck, squeeze your neck with your shoulders, anything like that. You wanna have a long spine, long neck, and then get the stretch. Fantastic, awesome, shake that out. Feels so good. Then come onto your back here. You can even do some rolling like a ball. It's a good balancing practice, but it also just feels nice on the spine. A little massage action, kind of. And then roll onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And come out into your Shavasana resting pose. I'm going to do today in a reclining goddess position, opening up the inner thighs a little bit. Just feeling that strength and that stretch and that opening that we did in our in our upper back, channeling those, those muscles along the spine. It's great to, you know, activate that and work that part of the body as well, stretch that part of the body. Like I said, you know, we do so much hunching over and being on our phones and being at a desk that we kind of forget to open up and use our back muscle strength and our upper body back strength. So really great work today. So glad that you did this practice with me. I can't wait to see you on the mat next time. Definitely make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you get notifications for when that video is uploaded. Um, and make sure that you get on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. I have some exclusive content for you there. Namaste.